we are, guys. This is my first real contact with my BMW R1250 GS Adventure. As you guys can see, this is the HP model, which is the new denomination of what used to be called the Rally model. I am so excited. This has been many, many years in the making, uh, saving money and learning how to ride a motorcycle. Um, this is going to be so cool. The, you know, the side bags still have, uh, they still have uh, tags on them. So, so happy for this. This is going to be a whole different ball game. I have a lot to learn. I only have maybe three miles of off-road experience. Uh, just linking uh, one road to another. That's uh, all, all the experience I have riding in gravel and on paved roads. So I've got a lot to learn. I'm super excited. My friends are going to help me with making this transition to dual sport. It's going to be awesome, guys. So this is a cool gift that Ruth and the guys here at West Valley gave me. It's a little bell. It's a St. Christopher's bell uh, that they give to all customers for good luck. I am not a, not a superstitious or religious person at all, but that's such a cool friendship gift that I'm going to keep here in my in my central stand, which by the way, I need to learn actually how to use the central stand because I have never had a motorcycle with central stand and I am a relatively short person. Hence the fact that, as you guys may have noticed, I got a GSA with the with the short seat. I tested a bunch of configurations, you know, GSs, GSAs, low suspension, standard suspension. And at the end, I decided to get a GSA with the low seat. That's the one that I suited me the best, the one which I was the most comfortable. Let's see how the thing really rides now on the long run. Well, up here in the top right, that's going to tell you what uh, throttle mode you're in. So right now you're in dynamic. We're going to go ahead and switch that to, uh, you got enduro and rain, road, and then once you get your plug in, it'll do enduro pro. Uh, we'll, we'll push you on road mode there. And so if there's nothing on the, the brakes or the throttle, it'll switch on uh, automatically for okay. you, even if the bike is running or you're going down the road. Mm -hmm. On this side, uh, with the little suspension, little picture there, pictogram, mm -hmm. that's how you switch your, your suspension settings. So you're on auto and dynamic. Let's see here. We're on road on dynamic, so we'll leave you on road mode. That's going to be a little bit softer. Okay. To, uh, we will play with that. Dynamic, yeah. Um, that's pretty much how we're going to set up the bike for you. What else you would want to go over? Uh, a little bit on the control wheel. Okay, the control wheel, you're going to go up in your menu. Mm -hmm. So that's going to control your info up here. If you go down, it's going to give you uh, all the diagnostics. A lot of, yeah, okay. A lot of different other settings. And that's where the wheel comes in. So you can connect to your Bluetooth, connect to your phone, uh, change different settings on there. So if you go into my vehicle, you just push the button there. If you want to go further in, you can just hold it. Uh, also, uh, change the different settings and stuff. Like I that. see, I see. So there's a lot of information on there for you. Um, so to back out, you just you push the top button. Oh, it's very easy, very intuitive. Easy to navigate. Yeah. Very cool. That's more or less it. Uh, you also have uh, heated grips. Yeah. Cruise control. That, yeah, I need to. I need to. I'm gonna eat this man, oh man. <laughs> need to learn, learn everything, Joe. Yeah, of course. Uh, this controls your fog lights, your auxiliary lights that are I on see, your okay. So that will give you a little, um, a little display setting when that comes on. The bike has to be running. I okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it drains a lot of the battery, yeah, I guess. Uh, that's your cruise control up cruise here. Control. You gotta push it forward to turn it on. So that'll be off. If you turn it on, and if you're running down the road, you'll set it that way. And then you can uh, decrease speed or increase speed. Uh, very easy to, no, very easy. Yeah, I think sure. easier than the, the Aprilia is okay, but. Uh, I don't like how it shows on the dash the things. If you're not you, if it's on but you're not using, it keeps blinking on the dash. It's very right. distracting. Okay. So, so there's the little light for the auxiliary. All the auxiliary lights, lights yeah, the fog so lights. Yeah, so yeah. That'll be on and off. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. This is awesome, man. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Once you get your nav, if you get a nav in. Uh, yeah, I'll get. I'll get. An, I'll get the navigation. I plan to get the navigation soon. Um, yeah, very general, cool. That, that's the general uh, controls there. Thank you. And then my GoPro failed. So I was not able to record a historic ride back home from the dealer. 
And with the coronavirus epidemic, I could not take this bike for a spin either. Until I got concerned about its battery, I thought it was time to take it for a charge. And here it is, my very first ride with my BMW R1250 GS Adventure. I took it to Latigo Canyon. Enjoy it.